Good morning. How you doing, everybody? It's Sabrina Fisheries, and I am excited once again today because today I want to talk to you about defining your own spiritual tools. Yes, defining what practices you need to do daily to make you feel better. One question that people ask me all the time is that, how is it possible <laughs> that you are so happy? And it's a learned behavior and it's a choice. It's a choice. I have decided to take specific spiritual tools to get up in the morning to do those tools to ensure that I have a good day, to ensure that I walk out my door with a smile. One of them, you guys, I share it with y'all all the time. My sound bowl. My sound bowl. Ooh, that vibration. It starts to invoke that positive energy within myself because I made a choice. You understand? Because remember, this is so important. It is done unto you as you believe. So the tools that you choose, you have to be sure that you believe in them. For example, I have another one that I just got into. Now, I always listen to the 528 or the 432 megahertz, sometimes to sleep, sometimes to just get me to focus when I'm writing my book. But I just um, learned about the tuning fork. And you know, if you've been following me, you know I had some ear issues going on. So I decided to assign this vibration to the healing of that ear, you know, so I can say, yes, God, it's already done. Mm -hmm. hear that I don't know if you can hear that vibration. So this is my tool. Mm, feels so good. It reminds me that we are vibrational beings. And I decided to visualize the healing of my ears already done. Thank God in advance for it. Use this tool to remind me to focus on it for a little while. See, that's what tools are. Even if it's church, church reminds you for a minute to focus on God. You guys go to church on Sundays and you're all focused and motivated and you're going to do right and do good all until Wednesday afternoon. You understand? But what we need, <laughs> but what we need is tools daily. Because daily, you have to make a choice to be happy because the energy that you emit daily is what you're going to get back. So each day, as soon as your eyes open, as soon as your feet hit the floor, you have to decide what tools you use. I also have decided to put um, crystals into my home. This is a citrine crystal. This crystal is for abundance. Now, of course, I always talk about abundance. A lot of my videos are about abundance because I believe strongly that we are all supposed to experience prosperity in our lives, no matter what. No matter what faith you are, no matter what nationality you are, no matter what economic status you are in, we are all supposed to experience abundance in our lives. But I want what I want for you is I want you to define your own spiritual tools and I want you to start respecting other people's spiritual tools. For example, people will say, Oh, what they do over there in that country, that ritual they do over there in that country, that's voodoo, that's wrong, that's this, that, the other. As if when we take that bread and that wine, that is also, that that's, that's a ritual. In remembrance of Christ, it's a ritual. So we need to start not being so concerned with what other people do and the ritualistic things that other people do and, and their spiritual practices that, that, that help them and to define our own. And the ultimate goal is happiness and peace and love. So if you see somebody and you're trying to say, oh, well, I don't know why I want to listen to her or I don't want to know why I want to listen to him. Are these amazing things showing up in their life? If they are then you want to listen to them. <laughs> if abundance is showing up in their life, if happiness and prosperity and joy is showing up, mm -hmm, then those are the people you choose. Because sometimes we get confused and we get stuck on doctrine and dogma and we uh, think, we forget the control that God gave us to develop the best life ever, to be happy, to be prosperous, to be healthy. You understand? There was a lady that um, I was doing her hair and I stopped to eat lunch and I was eating tilapia. And she said, oh, no, 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 no. That is the worst fish you can eat. It is horrible for your body. I said, no, it's horrible for your body because you choose to accept that. You understand? There might be some statistics here or there, but the mind, ooh, that beautiful mind has the ability to transcend 
certain things. You understand? That's that's the gift that God gave us. So I choose not to believe that every time I eat tilapia, that it is destroying my body. As a matter of fact, my mind is strong enough now that I can change that belief. I can say, oh no, I'm going to assign this every time I eat this tilapia. As a matter of fact, it's, it's healing me in some kind of way. So remember, I will say this over and over and over. It is done unto you as you believe. Please understand that. So identify what you believe. Get together and get your spiritual tools together. Start respecting others. Stop shutting people down. Stop arguing with people at the barbecue. Stop getting into uh, disagreements with people on Facebook about their tools. Because if you look and go through, go through their Facebook like you do and dissect their lives. If, if happiness is showing up in their life, if prosperity is showing up in their life, then their tools are working for them. So my tools are working for me. <laughs> I'm happy. You guys know I, I like my sage. I set my intentions for prosperity and health and love. I do my sound bowl healing. I do my tuning fork. I my my amazing crystals because I'm so amazed by crystals because God put everything on this earth that we need to heal our own bodies. And we aren't told about healing crystals sometimes when we grow up. I was, I was raised Church of God in Christ, honey, hooping and hollering at Church of God in Christ, running up and down the aisle every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday night, Church of God in Christ. <laughs> However, I was never taught about the power, the power of the certain elements that God placed on this very earth. And you do not have to separate. People be like, oh, I'm not religious, I'm spiritual. I, you don't have to be none of that. What you have to do is decide what you can do to make yourself happy every day every single solitary day so define your tools what are your tools is it gospel is it writing is it walking on the grass is it getting up and listening to any type of music that makes you feel good that raises your vibration that makes you want to take on the world that makes you want to start that business that makes you want to go smile at people just be happy and just love it more love and lo what what tools make you feel like that the, that's the first at the top of the list get a pen and paper get a pen and paper please in this in this comment please tell me what are some of your tools I've shared my set burning my sage, my sound bowls, uh, gospel music, my tuning fork, and my healing crystals, and oh yeah, my ginger and turmeric tea. <laughs> and they all work for me. You know why? Because I believe in them. Because I have set an intention to believe in them. And they remind me throughout our busy day. Because I still, I'm still running a business. I'm still got a, I still have a seven year old at home attached to my hip all day long. <laughs> so you know my tools work for me, and and I need. We can get so busy and caught up in our lives that we forget to take five minutes and for our own personal development. We forget to take just a few minutes and close our eyes and and focus on what what our heart's desire is. You, you understand we forget to you want a house but how much time how much mental work have you put into manifesting that house you want a mate how much work have you put into manifesting that mate you know i need to do a little bit more work on the manifesting a mate <laughs> it's just not a priority right now however i know how to do it i know what tools i need to use i know what uh intentions i need to set in order to get the absolute best man ever i, I absolutely he's already there thank you god oh my god <laughs> you he probably watching this video right now saying oh she killed today what <laughs> so do what you need to do no longer concern yourself with proving that your tools are better than someone else's tools that your spiritual practices are going to get you into heaven any quicker instead define your spiritual tools and start respecting other people's tools i love you guys have the absolute best day ever i'm gonna send you out on some of this amazing vibrational mm, hear that we are vibrational beings that amazing vibration within yourself amazing things happen i love you guys go find your spiritual tools please share them with me in the comments i'd love to know what yours are